Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I have some new fragrances that I'm going to talk about today. I want you guys to stay tuned and if you guys can click the subscribe button, like, comment and subscribe and all to my new subscribers, hi, hey, and this is Cardi Faces and I'm always serving face. <laughs> that was cute, but stay tuned, okay? everybody had a wonderful holiday the holidays are done but I have not gotten to wear this top yet and I thought it was festive and these some of these are Christmas gifts so I'm like why not I was not a part of vlogmas I was busy like work and stuff we should do a get to know me video one day keep that in mind comment below if you want to get to know me video so you guys know I love fragrances right so I have about one two three four five six six new fragrances I'm gonna be unboxing my mar I'm gonna be <laughs> unboxing my background Rouge 540 for you guys as well so let's just get into it okay first perfume I have up is the Givenchy play intense just a purple bottle it is not very pricey at all it smells amazing this scent has patchouli orange blossom amorous wood flower tiara flower flower sandalwood benzoin it is a floral woody amber I used to have this per fragrance like back when I was I'd like to say I was 17, 18. I had this 17. I had this fragrance. It was my fave. I misplaced it since then. I've never gotten it till now. It smells so good. And it's like, like I said, it doesn't cost a lot. So it is a nice fragrance to have. If you're on a budget as well, it's good. <sighs> like I said, some fragrances just give me nostalgia. And like I said, I used to have this a long time ago. And it still smells amazing, okay? So this I would recommend if you're on a budget and you want a nice, like it's a luxury brand scent. It's from Givenchy. Play Intense. I would cop that. So that was that. Next fragrance I'm going to talk about is the Jean-Paul Gaultier Scandal. The bottle is so cute. Look at the little legs at the top because we are sexy and we're going to be feeling ourselves when we put this on, right? So Scandal is a sweet scent. I can say that for sure. Um, the top notes are blood orange, mandarin orange, honey, gardenia, orange blossom, jasmine and peach. Base notes are beeswax, patchouli and caramel and licorice. The beeswax... See, I already, still, I already have the other scent lingering in my nose, so I'm like getting prepared. The beeswax makes this scent smell kind of like honey. So it has a very much so honey-like scent. It is really good, I must say. Um, Let's go and spray it now. I can spray that one on this side. Let's spray this one on this side now. <laughs> Just like I said, it smells like honey. I'm real next spray hit my leg oh that is good this is good um scandal again by john paul gautier this is nice so nothing happened <laughs> they're okay they're okay so next and we're getting into some more intense scents these are um what how would i describe these they said siphon Chapri Fruity Fragrance. Okay, that's how they describe it on Fred Grantia. That's the website I go on if I want to know about a scent for Grantia. So, it is Le Interdrit by Givenchy. This is the second Givenchy scent. Now, this one is the intense version. So, I bought this black. So, let me read. It has top note is black currant. Move that out of the way. Top note is black currant, cassia, freeze, freezer, freezer, 
Mandarin orange, bergamot, middle note is May rose, asanthemus, neroli, artismia, artis, artismia. Okay, I should have probably read this before I started this video. Base note is vanilla, patchouli, wood notes, and ambroxan. That was the description for the other perfume. I'm embarrassed. So we're just going to talk about the other perfume first. Then we're going to talk about that one. How about that? <laughs> so that was the description for C by Giorgio Mani. <laughs> and I was so confident. Oh my God. I'm not going to edit that at all. Like, this is what YouTube is about. Stuff happens. This is real life. So. I'm going to give it a spray. Oh gee. Hit my nose heavy. This is a C by Giorgio Armani Intense. This has been discontinued. That's why I got it. Okay. So this scent is a, again, it's the same family. It's a cypher fruity. That's all going to end up reading the wrong one, but no worries. No worries. Let's forget about it. This one smells like grown woman sexy. It is it has a bit of oud to it, but I think that's the ambroxan in it that gives it like an oudy kind of scent. It's no oud really in the scent, you know what I mean? It is that ambroxan I'm feeling like. It's a bit of bergamot in it, but still. The scent is like date night, going to bed, and you just want to smell fabulous. That is C by Giorgio Armani. And... <laughs> so... And now we're gonna do the chiffon she in le interdit le interdit and that's intense version as well so now I have the notes top note is black pepper the middle note is tuberose and sesame and orange blossom base note is Madagascar vanilla patchouli and vetiver so the scent has some of the same kind of notes, not really, but a bit with the um, orange blossom and the patchouli. But patchouli is usually in a lot of scents, let's be real. Like there's a lot of scents that I scent, seem to like lately. So let's spray this one now. Spray it on this side. Be switching sides over here. So. Okay, they do not smell the same, that's for sure. Mm, this is the intense version like I was saying it smells amazing the black pepper the top is good like you could smell the hint of black pepper not too much but you can smell it it's good I recommend getting this one if you do like a scent that is warm and inviting like I said date night scents these are for sure like it's intense so and it too if you wear it in the daytime it's fine to wear it in the daytime people are gonna smell it and be like what is she wearing she smells amazing like you know gonna get compliments so now this was a Christmas gift I got good girl by Carolina Herrera I would not have purchased this for myself because I'm like always watching YouTube videos and everybody has it so I'm just unboxing it this is the classic bottle that a lot of people have that looks like a high heel it gives it's a cute bottle like it's nice for display that's for sure so let's check out the notes in this so it says it's an oriental floral it is top notes almond coffee bergamot lemon middle notes tuberose jasmine sambac oris orange blossom bulgarian rose base notes are tonka bean cacao Vanilla, praline, sandalwood, amber, musk, cashmere wood, patchouli, cinnamon, and cedar. This scent has a lot of different elements in it. This is, this sounds very layered. Like the scent will keep on formulating and changing into something else as it wears on your body for the entire day. It sounds like, like this probably is really nice to put on. Okay, let's smell it. I'm going to actually spray it on myself instead of in the air. Like those ones I sprayed in the air because I'm like, I know how y'all smell. I've been wearing it for the like I bought it like a few months ago so I've been wearing it during that time so let's spray this one I digress hmm 
It smells sweet. I like it. I'm not in love as yet, but I like it. Maybe I'll wear it when I go to bed. Because it is a sexy kind of scent because it's the oriel, oriental floral in it. So it's not like a white musk or something. It smells like a shower kind of scent. It smells like a sexy scent. So probably, you know, me coming out of the shower, shower and going to bed. Because I like to smell warm and inviting when I go to sleep. So me. Okay? I'll put it on. Sometimes. So time for the last fragrance, right? We're gonna have a chit chat about it because again this fragrance is costly and a lot of people want it of course but they're like should I spend that kind of money on a perfume you know I understand completely because remember I talked previously about wanting this perfume in my Sephora haul video I'll link it above um, and I got this instead the Burberry Her Intense the Burberry Her Intense smelled similar to this scent the reason people have called it a dupe is because it does not smell exact. It's very similar but not exact. So I'm going to spray it. Very much so similar but not exact. When you smell Baccarat Rouge 540, the vibe is different. The notes are different. But it smells kind of similar but it's different though. I thought the same thing. I, even when I first sprayed it back, I'm like, mm, this smells just like very, very, very intense. Why would I get this? Then as it develops on my skin, I'm like, okay, no. This scent is powerful. This is something different. I see what people are talking about now. Like, I'm like, I thought it was the hype. Let's be real. The hype is always real. So I thought it was the hype. But no, the background Rouge 540 is giving. Period. And that's on who? Mary Had a Little Lamb. So, let's open this up. This the box. We send it in a nice white box. Unbox it. There is a string here you pull up. That's the fragrance. It comes with a little card that says message. Not read the message. Comes in this other box. The packaging is very nice. The label in the front, though, however, it is a paper label. They have other scents that the label is actually like a gold label, but it's a paper label. Through the bottle, you can see an image. It's a picture. It's very cute. The bottle color, like the scent, looks kind of amber in the bottle. Now, we're going to spray her on and see what she's giving the top. Kind of heavy. That's good. No complaints there. So, the scent, the fragrance is made by Maison Francis Cric de Jean. The scent has top notes of saffron and jasmine. Middle notes, amber wood, amber green. Base notes, fair resin and cedar. Now, saffron is an expensive um, herb. Well, I don't know what they call it. Flower is very expensive to acquire. Like, it's very expensive. So, it's in this scent. So, that, that's probably what made it, too, as well, a bit more pricey, right? So, now I'm going to spray it on. And I'm going to spray it on me, of course, because... <laughs> who's wasting this in the air? This retails in Canada with Canada with taxes... For about 440 bucks. This is a big buy. Big girl things. <laughs> I'm spread on this hand because I think I sprayed something on this hand already. Let's let her air out. This shirt is so nice. I got this shirt from Shein. It's cute. So, like I said, that one smells nice. I'm not going to deny it. It smells good. It's like when people say, oh, get a dupe, get a dupe. This is, this is different. This is nice. This is quality. It's top of the line. It lasts longer than that one, I feel like. Like, not this and that because that was hitting, like, through the summer, I was wearing that every day, all day. Like, that was my scent a lot of times. 
but this one this is nice this is it's delicious like hmm. let's spray it again let me just spray it across my nose like so just give you guys the next look smell nice smells good okay <laughs> so that is a good purchase next fragrance i'm thinking we're getting from this line is the oud satin mood if you guys like i have some fragrance people that uh, subscribe to me if you guys can give me some tips or you know feelings toward that scent put it inside my comment section but i do like the scent but i smelled it when i was on my trip in vancouver for, and then i smelled it when i got a sample of it when i purchased this i let the people at hold rent you give me it's not hold rent you better get it from sacks so the people at Sass gave me like a little sample of Oud Satin Mood. I'm still thinking about it, but I think I'm going to get it. Like it was good. It was really good. So <laughs> I have chit-chatted a while. You know, I love these fragrance videos. This is, I feel like fragrance is my niche because I love smelling good. I feel like the scent gives a look as well. Like this outfit, I was like, this is perfect for these fragrances. I look like I, so, like, you know, like they match. Okay. So <laughs> I'm just getting ready to say my I do. So, thank you guys for watching. I want you guys to like, comment, and subscribe. Please share this video. Um, I'm still trying to get my subscribers up. That's why I'm like, let me find a niche. Once I get that niche, people will be interested. But no worries. Thanks so much for watching. Again, to my new subscribers, thank you for being here. I have a lot more to come. And welcome to 2021. I hope this year will be better than the last.